Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and today we are making a vitamin C plus E and ferulic acid face serum. I pride myself in my skincare and I know that the benefits of me taking care of my skin are paying off. And so of course with the amount of serums and whatnot that I have, I like to save money when I can. I feel like vitamin C is essential. It's anti-aging. It gets rid of dark spots. It even skin tone. It fights the free radicals of the sun. I mean there's just so many benefits to using vitamin vitamin C that, of course, I jumped on that bandwagon and I've been using vitamin C for a couple years now. And so I started making this at home a couple months ago. It's a minimal ingredients. I picked a lot of my items up from Amazon, but the health food stores have some of the items that I purchased. And my vitamin C serum is just a little bit different. At least this batch that I'm making is just a little bit different. Because because I add the ferulic to it, it extends the life of the vitamin C. A typical vitamin C serum without ferulic will last you two weeks. With the ferulic um, in it, it will last you 30 days. And it'll last you a little bit longer if you put it in the fridge, but I, um, I don't put it in the fridge just because I don't like the running back and forth. I just like everything right there. I use it and I'm done with it. And because I make it at home, I save a little bit of money. So I don't, I don't feel so bad about dumping it down the drain when it goes bad. But you need a few items. You need your L ascorbic vitamin C powder. And I got this big old bottle. I believe I spent $15 on it. Not a lot of money. And then I have my ferulic acid, but that's what that. I got some vitamin E oil, a little dropper, measuring cups, a little funnel, two plastic containers. You want to make sure that you don't use any metal, any metal objects at all. We have our binder. You can either use aloe vera or vegetable glycerin. Either one works. It's just to thicken it up. Vegetable glycerin, it's sticky. And during the summertime, I do not like that tacky feeling. So I'm going to try to substitute it out with this. Just because I was able to pick this up from my local health food store. So this is something, the vegetable glycerin, you can pick up at any health food store, readily available, not a problem. And then you need distilled water and this is what I got at Walgreens. It's in the laundry section. It's just distilled water, no big deal. But I wanted to try, because I'm using the aloe vera here, I wanted to use this distilled 100% aloe vera fractionally distilled liquid from aloe vera leaves. So I just want to try this. I'm, I'm not sure if it's gonna work. We're gonna find out. This is just a toner. This um, extra strength Dickinson's toner. I would never use this on my face. It has alcohol in it and a high content of alcohol. But what it does do is it melts down my ferulic acid. That's why this is here. And you just need a small, like a couple of drops. So it's not anything major that's going to, to harm your skin by putting, and people put this on their skin all the time. I just don't use alcohol on my skin. So there's that. And then I just bought these. They were uh, clearanced out for $2.99, but they are just tongue depressors. I use these just to mix. Let's get started. All right, first I'm going to start with mixing. This needs the L ascorbic and the distilled water need to sit for about 10 minutes, 10 minutes minimum. So this is where I'm going to start because this is what takes the longest time. And it is five grams of powder of L ascorbic vitamin C. And this is a quarter teaspoon. So five grams equals five of these. And not heaping. Okay. 
And you can adjust the vitamin C that you put in here. If you put too much vitamin C and you, you feel a burn sensation when you put it on your face, because when I first started using vitamin C, it was a little, you feel it when you put it on your face, which for me was a good feeling. I felt like it was actually working. It didn't leave red or irritation or anything like that. But if you do have sensitive skin, you can adjust the formula, if you have too much vitamin C in it, just add some more of your vegetable glycerin or your aloe vera to it. So let's add our water. And we need 15 to 17 mils. And so I am just going to fill this up. This is five, 10, 15, and I'm just going to add just a little bit more. Ooh, that's too much. All right. And just stirring that up. All right. We'll let that sit for a little while and now we'll mix up our ferulic acid. And this is just a half a gram and so I am just going to fill half of this up. Don't need much of it. I'm just going to put a little dab more in there. Just a little bit of that. And then you only need a couple drops of this astringent. That's what that looks like. So just enough to absorb and melt down the powder. Turns into like a paste. what that looks like. Little dab of do ya. And then we just need a, a large drop of our vitamin E. And that's what that looks like. And Ooh. That was a very large drop. So Oh, oh well, it's already in there now. We're just adding in our aloe vera and we're going to do about five mils of this and this is a half a teaspoon or 2.5 mils. So I'll add four of these. like tapioca pudding.
just stirring it up, stirring, stirring, stirring. All right, that is done. So now I'm just going to grab another stick. I could use the other side, but I'm, I'll just grab a new one. And as you can see, it is really thin and you can see the powder. You can see the powder in there. It um, just needs more time to dissolve. So I'm going to let that sit and come right back. All right, so I mixed all of the product together. I'll insert a video of that. And if you want to save a little bit of time and you don't want to go through all of these steps and don't want to hunt down all the products, you can mix distilled water and L ascorbic acid or vitamin C together, not vitamin C tablets, it needs to be in uh, the powder form, and mix that with distilled water. That will give you um, a serum in itself that will last you two weeks. So. Uh, if you would like to try that, that's another option. And there's tons of videos out there on how to make that, which is pretty easy. Pretty easy. So that's everything. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them below. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.